Hey y'all. I want to do a lesson on this Who Tune tattoo for the three people who will watch this. Because I don't know why, but it seems like no one watches the Who tunes. But uh, I thought the Who was more popular than that. So for the three of you that uh, want to learn how to play this, um, let's go through it. It's in B flat. Starts with this little rip. And that's that's the intro part, but it's also that runs through the verses. So it's in this uh, as if you were gonna bar B flat. But you're just gonna play the sort of F version of it. Um, so it's just the D, G, B string, starting with the D string on 8, G at 7, B at 6, high E string is open, right? So you go, it's just running through them, then back to the B string again. picking on the next chord is the same. So you move it down one fret, except now it's D string at 7, G string at 5, B string at 6. So, so from this shape to this shape. Same, same picking pattern again. And this one is uh, D and G at 5, and B at 3. Again, the high E string is open through all of these. Move that down to two frets down to the same fingering down to the first fret on B, D and G at 3. And that starts the verse. Me and my brother. So now it goes to a D, same chords. Now you got to listen to the recording to get when does it go from this chord to this chord. Because in different parts of the song, sometimes it goes, right, but other times it'll go. So listen for yourself how long to hold them, but the chords are the same. So this one starts with the B flat to this one to this one. Didn't understand. To a D, then back to the beginning again. And then Pete comes in with his vocal part. Our old man didn't like our appearance. My D to G. Except this, your A, you keep the D and the, uh, sorry, the B and the E at the third fret, so you get this kind of very typical Pete Townsend chord, that sort of unresolved suspension. You can hear the, he keeps the fingering on that D chord. At least it sounds that way to me. 
Still playing the D, but now you've added the A string at the fourth fret. So then go with this fourth fret. Keep fingering the D, sort of, except now you want to cover the A at the second fret. Now you're doing it as an A, A string open, D at 2nd fret, G open, D, uh, sorry, B at 3, high E at 2, just those two are just like you would do it on a D chord. In fact, it looks like a D chord, except move your pointer finger up one. So it's... G. So now he's not arpeggiating it, he's just a You can get the high in there if you want, but it sounds more to me like he's muting the high E. So when you're doing these chords, when he gets to the last one, he goes back to arpeggiating it. the whole tune there's no guitar solo so uh, I, I guess if you're a beginner trying to work on arpeggiating chords this might be a good one to learn again for the three of you who want to learn it <laughs> good luck